This allegedly happened in a New York City hotel in 2005 during an audition. While Diddy continues to sit in his prison cell at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, the stack of legal papers stacks taller. According to Rolling Stone, a new influx of allegations and lawsuits were sent into to Tony Busby and then filed by him and Andrew Van Arsdale from California. The former was the one encouraging potential victims to call the sexual assault hotline recently, and he's representing over 100 clients. Every alleged victim deserves to have their stories heard, but one of them in particular is catching a lot attention. One of the lawsuits against Diddy involves him allegedly drugging and then raping a 10-year-old boy who had dreams to make it in rap. In the civil suit, the documents say this alleged act took place in 2005 at a hotel in New York City. Diddy allegedly told a consultant that the boy's family hired that he wanted to be one-on-one -on -one with him during the audition. The boy performed a few songs for him and after he was done, Diddy allegedly told the Jane Doe he could make him a star. Later in the documents, Combs asked Plaintiff how badly he wanted to be a star and what Plaintiff would do to get to be one. Plaintiff responded, as might any 10-year-old child, that he would do anything. Allegedly, after the boy said this, Diddy then handed him a soda and after drinking it he claimed that he felt a little funny. After Plaintiff consumed his soda and began feeling its effects, Combs told Plaintiff to move closer to him, which Plaintiff did. Combs then abruptly pushed Plaintiff down and said words to the effect of, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes. That is when the alleged assaulting took place. What are your thoughts on Diddy's newest sexual assault lawsuit involving a 10-year-old boy? Is this the most disturbing allegation yet? How many actual victims do you think there will wind up being? We would like to hear what you have to say, so leave your thoughts in the comments.